Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here again, and this time we're going on to attrition. Um, I've not played much attrition at all, to be honest with you. I probably had about a game or two of it. So I don't really know the ropes around it, so we're going to see how this one plays out, guys. Um, this one, yeah, it's on Boneyard, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give you a bit of information for an upcoming video that I'm going to be posting, guys. It's going to be out very soon. All you need to do on this video is to comment and you'll automatically be entered. Uh, basically, I'm doing a little giveaway. As soon as I hit 250 subscribers, I'm currently on 200, so it's not much more, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a HD camera giveaway. It's going to be picked completely at random from everybody that comments on that video. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the names into like a little program type thing and basically let it choose it at random. So it's completely fair. Everybody's got a chance. There's no sort of biasness to it as well. So yeah, we're going to get into this gameplay anyway. Um, now that I've finished babbling on, um, you can see me just uh, turn and shoot that player there because I knew he was behind me to start with. Now this one I'm actually playing solo guys so this one is without the clan. So you can see the points are racking up a lot slower than they would do if we was in a full party and stuff like that. What you want to do on attrition guys just to give you a little hint of how to rack up those points see all these grunts, all these spectras, do not ignore them because they give you a lot of attrition points. Okay, Interestingly enough, when you actually have your titan out, if you shoot one of them, you get something like a plus one point. However, if you trample them, you get like plus eight per actual grunt or spectra, whatever you call them anyway. Um, so yeah, that's a helpful little hint for you to get a higher score. That's something I learned while going through this as well. And um, basically, I learned that by killing them with a titan and then running over them with a titan. So yeah, I'm very observative. So yeah, that is one of the ways to boost your scores up, guys. So that you know what that means: extra XP, extra life. You can see me get taken out by that guy though. You just see me at the last second pretty lucky he survived that to be honest. Uh, right, so I got me Titan out, I'm using the Smuggled Stimulant again. Um, I'm pretty low on burn cards at the minute to be honest with you, so I've not really got many useful ones. Um, but the Smuggled Stimulant's pretty decent, so I thought I'd whack that on anyway. I'm actually leaving me get, uh, Titan in guard mode, but I'm going to end up going back to it as you see here. Because I can see a red arrow somewhere behind. Now that's one of the other tips that you want to do is you do want to pay attention to your minimap because that's going to give away the enemy positions anywhere they're shooting from unless they've got things like suppressors on and stuff like that aka not many people do use suppressors in this guy so you'll find it a lot easier to find them um, suppressors yep yeah, very good doesn't take off much damage and basically you can just go around like a little stealth ninja now you can see those attrition points that I was getting just for shooting these spectres, like attrition points plus one, and then I've trampled him, attrition points plus five, but that was a human player, so that doesn't really count. Um, yeah, so I'm only getting one attrition point per hit here. And I can see this human player trying to just cause damage to my titan at the minute, there's quite a few titans up. Honestly, I was searching around most of this game, wondering where the frick everyone is. Now, do you see how the attrition points it quadruples and doubles in some cases, so plus four, plus three, when you're trampling them. Like I said, that's a helpful little hint to you again, plus three, just to prove it. Attrition points plus four again. Um, you crush a pilot, you get a plus eight actually, rather than just a normal kill. Trying to shoot that guy through there, but God knows how the frick that missed him, to be honest. Look at that Titan there, I'm just going to take some random damage off it. And she runs. Oh, she runs, she runs. Oh, baby, when Susan moves, she moves. Sorry about that. Kind of got both there. <laughs> Whee! 
Uh, like I said, this wasn't one of my most fun games, to be honest with you. Um, uh, I'd rather be, to be honest, running around, killing close quarters and things like that. The map is so big on this one, you're just going to find people camped out in corners, windows and stuff like that. Or they're literally just in the titles, as you see here. It's a helpful little tip when you come across titans is to come from behind them. This girl really does like to run away. <coughs> You'll see there. She actually left her auto titan just to be killed. Um, if that was me, I would have turned around. I would have took a bit as much damage as I could off the titan that was attacking them, rather than just run for it. To be honest. Um, but yeah, fair play. She's a girl gamer, you know. Um, there's some good, really, really good girl gamers out there. So don't sort of uh, misinterpret that as me saying girls suck. Although they're not as good as boys. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so we're on 224 to 151. You can see this guy currently rodeoing my ass. That is where the electric smoke comes in useful, guys. Um, in case you haven't noticed the electric smoke, I just want to point out a little factor on that. If you've got one, two, even three titans around you, if they're close quarters to you and you place down an electric smoke, if they stand still for even, uh, I think it's three seconds maximum, you practically have half of all of their health off, so even if your titan goes down, you know you've done a substantial amount of damage to them. So you can see this human player trying to be a bit cheeky there. I try and run him over, but that completely failed, so I just shoot him in the end. And it's Susan Speak again! She's a little ninja, this girl. Come on! It's like, where the hell are you coming from, missus? I can see that human player there, but I'm not asked about him. I know it's attrition points, but I just want to take out this tight. <laughs> At the end of the game, it's basically... you got to have fun with it. You can see my health just got completely and utterly destroyed as I'm on 10th free. I mean, seriously, how long did I survive in that Titan? I wasn't even being challenged by anything, to be honest with you. I'd freaking throw a charge rifle on it or something. Or even take out its shields with the arc grenades. Two times arc grenades completely wipes out a titan's body shield. Just in case you didn't know that as well. There are people that's going to be watching the videos that don't really know sort of certain things in the game because they're still learning the game there's nothing wrong with that everyone's got to learn somewhere and um, you're gonna see some other videos which I'm gonna upload at the clan and stuff like that and the videos are gonna be a lot more pawnage a lot more hardcore and basically they're gonna be a lot more gunfights than this that you see at the minute this is more of a titan gameplay to be honest with you um, so you're gonna see the score at the end of it just to show you exactly what I did in Titanfall, this was my first game and you can see I get stuck here and as I'm coming over here I'm about to go up and I believe right about here if I'm right or something no, no okay I'm being shot and luckily I'm red marked, I can see where he is but he's gone straight for that, so he's going to get the evac on now. That was a bit of a bad play by me, it's fair enough. Okay, so we're getting to the end of the game. And you can see my score just popped up there on the screen. Hoorah! 98 attrition points, guys. Two off the 100 marker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series of these until I hit over 100. Peace out.